through January, Cape Town comes alive with the Cape Town Minstrels or the Capsa Klopsa. But don't expect another Mardi Gras or Carnival in Rio. The festive tradition dates back to the time of slavery. To this day, it is mainly the working class communities on the Cape Flats who participate to vent their socio-economic dilemmas. The reason why we're celebrating this, we were slaves, right? And we only got one, one day to celebrate this. Working the whole year and get one day to go and have a celebration. The reason why they, they, they just had black and white because you know the, the, the charcoal from the fire, there was that white piece and there was that black piece and that was all. That, that was all. That was all that now, now these days you've got green, you've got blue, you've got yellow, you can, you can do whatever color you want to. The Klopse is one way of telling and reminding us that we were slaves once. And part of, of, of the dancing is a, 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 it's a gesture that says, whatever you've done to us, whatever you, you, you threaten us with under slavery, still we stand. Whatever you, you, you deny us, still we dance to the God of the universe. It's an assertion of joyfulness against everything that antagonizes our humanity. Carnival means a lot for me because of, um, I will spend my life savings on, on the carnival. It's, it's, it's something that being there, when I was five years old and my dad put me in a uh, club's gear. Obviously my son is, he is, and everybody, my daughters are there, all in this game. So. Obviously, even if I die now, they're going to go on with this thing. But somebody wants to stop this, and we cannot allow that. Tradition holds that the Klopse walks through the city centre to the Boerkap or Upper Town, a place of cultural heritage to people of colour. However, this year, realtors seeking to reap the economic rewards of a rapidly gentrifying Boerkap in the wake of the 2010 World Cup are painting Klopse as disruptive and have prevented them from parading in the World Cup. It was a culture on the Lubrani Strara, it comes from the years of the slaves of what they freely can do on that day. But now, all the day we have to know, on the end of the day, for us as slaves, we can do what we want, we can perform what we want, we can do the races. The irony and almost cynical nature of what's happening in our city is that the clubs are particularly used around election time, around politicking. They are brought in and, and, and all political parties contesting for the colored vote particularly use the clubs. And so the clubs is almost part of the soundtrack that accompanies elections. And so why should they then be silent at this point of the year that the very, the very time of the year that gives rise to the origin? But last year we were stopped by the police the band strike there by the cafe in the ro in uh, Rose, yeah, Rose Corner, Rose Street, just around the corner there. In about three minutes, the police was there. You cannot walk here anymore. You cannot walk here anymore. Who said so? No, uh, the government. <laughs> The forced removals uh, were the consequence of the Group Areas Act that was promulgated in 1959 when the few years after the National Party came into power to party that was very supportive of, uh, of Nazi Germany. And in 1948, they took power on a ticket of white power, of white privilege. And the consequence of that ideology was displacement, sanitizing. It was a form of early ethnic cleansing of driving people of color out of what was declared white areas. But it also served to dislocate us from the place that gave birth to a certain culture. I'm, I'm a worker, I'm, I'm working the whole year. If it comes this time of the year, 
Then I'm free. My holiday is, is my holiday is actually the time I want to be with the club, sir. So so you you put everything in. How free are we then? How free I will become when we are even at this moment where we just ask for a momentary inclusion in the calendar of the city. We are denied. And I think it's it's a sad indictment on our democracy and the current uh, office bearers of our city.